It just released today the 911 calls from the moments after this week's fatal plane crash in Venice. Every caller knew a plane flew into the Gulf of Mexico, but it was so dark out they couldn't see much else. News Channel 8's Trevor Sohaki is live for us in the Tampa News Center. Trevor, what do these callers have to say? Well, Jen, there were five different 911 calls released, and all of them told the same story. No fires, no explosions, but a plane definitely hit the water hard. All of the callers seemed very calm. One even said they were just a tourist out for some food at Sharky's on the pier. 911, what's the location of the emergency? I'm at the pier at Sharky's, and a plane just took off and crashed in the water. Just released today, 911 calls from five witnesses of Wednesday night's fatal plane crash in Venice. And then I... I saw it hit the water, and then I heard, like, what sounded like the the engines, like, shutting up, like, okay. not an explosion, but like a, a large, like a backfire. Venice police said four people, two couples, died when their single-engine plane crashed near the Venice Pier shortly after taking off from the Venice Municipal Airport. Yeah, did you see any um, flames or anything? No, he his engine, I'm a pilot, his engine sounded normal, and uh, he was just losing a lot of altitude. He crashed pretty hard. This is the second deadly crash in four months near the airport. The last crash was the first crash that went off into the Gulf like that. So to have two in that short period of time is certainly unusual. The preliminary report of December's crash said the pilot took off at a very low angle and flew into dark conditions with no visible horizon. And at the Venice airport, taking off and landing is mostly up to pilots. Well, that's the, that's the thing. We don't have a control tower at the airport, so the, the runway that is used is up to the pilot. The director of the Venice airport said the weather was clear at takeoff and there were no technical issues at the airport. He added that the runway used by the pilot was the best one for takeoff conditions. It was not a, uh, a smooth landing by any means. And as we've reported, all four of the victims' bodies and the plane were recovered and the National Transporta Transportation Safety Board is expected to release a preliminary report in the next two weeks. Live in the Tampa News Center, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.